Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Isaiah chapter 55 verse nine. It reads as follows. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. A lot of times in our Western culture, we think that there is sort of one set way of getting to our dreams and our goals and our desires for life. We should graduate from school at this particular time and start our careers this particular time. We should meet our spouse at this point in life and start having kids and get a house and move to this city at this particular point in life. We should have this amount of money saved for retirement by such and such date and we should aim to retire at this date or hey, retire early. The problem then arises when you aren't getting those particular things at that particular time and you're sort of the odd man out. You're sort of the odd man standing while everything else and everyone else is sort of going on around you. I learned of a story once of this actress who had a lot of miscarriages. I mean, a lot of miscarriages. And she said that she had no problem getting pregnant, but she just couldn't carry the babies. Her, her body just was unable to carry those children. Later on, at an older age, she was able to have a child through surrogacy. You know, her, her and her husband were able to have a child through surrogacy, and they have a beautiful child now. I learned of another story of this very famous actress, very famous actress, who has this sister, who, and her sister has three kids, but she hasn't, you know, gotten married. She hadn't had a family of her own at this particular point. She was kind of the single aunt, hugely successful, very well known, but she didn't have that family of her own. She kind of went through boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend, and finally kind of what at some would consider later in life, she met someone and it was, you know, incredible. They just kind of you know, really clicked. They got married in just a few months. And on top of that, her and her husband were able to have two children much later in life, what you know, doctors would consider like well past geriatric, much later in life, and they seem to be doing really great. The first actress said something really interesting when she was asked about it. She said, you know, your story doesn't have to be like your sisters or your friends or your cousins. Like it can be different for you. And the second actress said something equally interesting. She, when she was asked why she waited so long to get married, she said, okay, well, I just hadn't met my husband yet. I mean, all of her boyfriends, she knew that they weren't the one. When she met her husband, she knew he was the one and they got married quite quickly. Friends, though we sort of all have this sort of one mentality of getting to our goals and our hopes and dreams, God wants me to tell you that there are different ways to get there. He is not some sort of cookie cutter God that says like, Everybody will have this then, and everybody will have that then, and everybody will have that then. No, he has individual plans, individual wonderful plans for each of us. We are all fearfully and wonderfully made. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are his ways higher than our ways, and his thoughts higher than our thoughts. He knows the plans that he has for us, and they are good plans, and he knows the steps that we need to take in order to get to the very best plans for us. Please don't be discouraged if it feels like everyone else has gotten there and you haven't gotten there yet. Please remember that God has a plan specifically for you. Sometimes it may feel as though life is sort of passing you by, but we have to get out of that mentality of comparing ourselves and sort of seeing what other people have and thinking, okay, because I don't have that, that somehow you know, things aren't great for me. I'm not good. That's, there's something wrong with my story. God hasn't forgotten you about that dream, that goal, that desire, that promise that he gave you. He works everything out for good. And even so, even if it does take a little while longer, even if you are kind of late, you know, in achieving your goals or getting that promise fulfilled, he still has a way of making up for lost years. He has a way of restoring the years the locusts have eaten. It's coming, friends, and it's going to be wonderful, even if God takes you a different way to get there. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters who are feeling, God, that you've forgotten about them, who are feeling as though that life is passing them by and family and friends and community are just sort of passing them by and people are doing all the things that they want to be doing and they, they feel as though they are been, being left out, that they are somehow missing out on the family that they want or the career that they want or the lifestyle, the, the dreams, the goals, the business, the book, that they are sort of missing out because of their situation, because of their environment, that it just sort of hasn't happened for them yet and they are kind of feeling though you've forgotten about them. Lord, 
you have you are the guy who ne neither slumbers nor sleeps Lord you do not forget about us Lord you know exactly where we are exactly what we need exactly how to get it to us Lord and exactly the best way to get us to that point God you don't want us harmed God you don't want us wasting time you don't want us sort of wasting feelings getting hurt unnecessarily God you don't want anything any of that for us you have good plans for us God and you want the very best possible outcome, God. Please encourage my brothers and sisters. Please let them know, God, you ever forgotten. You know what you're doing, that you are well on your way to bringing that thing to pass, and they are well on their way to seeing the manifestation of that promise. We thank you, God. We bless you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you guys guys have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.